Coach Ludwig. We're at the uh, MAC Championships. MAC Championship Eve. Uh, the, the Northern Illinois Huskies are here. And uh, I, I, I've said this uh, a couple times, but I think seven out of the nine teams can win the tournament. Absolutely. It's, I mean, it's going to be an unbelievable event. The, the level of competition here this year is going to be great. I don't think uh, I, the two I take out are Kent State and uh, Buffalo. I don't think either of those guys win. I put you guys right there. I think, you know, you guys, solid guys, uh, 57, 97, fringe guys. What do those guys got to do? What's Morse got to do? Uh, Andrew at 157, what's Andrew got to do to qualify? And what do you guys got to do at 97 to qualify? Uh, listen, at 57, I mean, that is such a deep weight class. There's so many talented guys there, and, and the level of competition has been so tight. Andrew's been in the mix with every single one of those guys. Um, the, the very first thing he's got to do is beat the number one, the first guy he sees, which is Wally from, from UB. Um, we're looking no further than him right now, but as soon as we get past him, um, we're, we're heading deep into the tournament. I mean, we've got to go, if we get past him, we head into the number one seed, who's obviously a super tough guy, and then, uh, you know, let the chips fall where they may. But um, I think if we can wrestle our match and, and make a little bit less mistakes and stay in touch at the, end of, at the end of our matches, we'll be fine at 57. 97. Well, and, you know, Torrance as well. Those are, yeah. you know, you got two guys right there. They're fringe guys. What do you got to do to get the next two fringe guys, your two upper weights? What do you got to do to get them to the tournament? Yeah, at 197, Sean Scott got the third seed. Um, you know, we're, we're seeing Kevin Beasley right away from ODU. They had a really tight match down in Virginia Beach a couple months ago. So we're focusing on him right away. Um, I think to work back through and, and see some other further guys in the bracket, he's going to have to wrestle his match. He's an offensive guy. He's got to get his shots out there. So the more offensive he is, the better. Um, and Jared Torrance, uh, unbelievably uh, talented kid as far as work ethic goes. See, this guy has been a great story for us, came to us as a walk-on and has earned his way through to be a nationally recognized guy. So he's got to focus on his game again. Um, we got a great opponent right off the bat in Turdo from Old Dominion. Again, a tight match down in Virginia Beach. So we're focusing on him right away. And again, we're just trying to focus and keeping it on, in our box. Um, when we wrestle our style, good things happen. When we let the other guys take it to us, that, that's when mistakes are made. The conference has grown leaps and bounds from your first year when it was six teams to now your third year where it's nine teams, it's yeah. nails, 41 bids. Yeah, yeah. What do you guys gotta do to, to get more than three bids? You know, we talk about three fringe guys right there. What do you guys gotta do to get in that five, six range? Yeah, you know, I mean, we gotta go from good to great, you know, and that's just focusing on the details. And I think a lot of that too is with some of the young talent in our conference just growing up and maturing a little bit. So I see, it. we've expected our, our conference qualifiers to grow and it has, and I think you're gonna see a whole lot more of that in the years to come. Your school's grown leaps and bounds as well as the conference. Northern Illinois and DeKalb was blowing up. Yeah. I think football's helped you guys. Has football helped you guys? Football's been huge. I mean, those guys are getting it done every year over there. And the national recognition, seeing the Husky head on ESPN all the time, is great for every program. Uh, Dave Grant was the head coach. And under Dave, they had national finalist and Heiser. What do you guys got to do to get another national finalist and a national champ? Yeah, I mean, the very first thing we did, and this is my third year as head coach, and Dave did an unbelievable job as head coach over there. He's a personal mentor of mine. Um, what we have to do is get the talent that we have in right now and keep breeding them through our culture change that we have established over there. Um, full year commitment, commitment to excellence, the expectations have risen, and we've got some unbelievably talented young men over there who really want to dedicate their life to being a national champion. So we just got to let those guys develop and believe in them like we are right now. All right, Coach, I'm pumped to see you guys tomorrow. You got anything else for me? No, go Huskies.